is going on guys it is your boy Cecil here brings a video here today bringing you guys get another Photoshop tutorial how to create your own very cool simplistic banner in under eight layers so I wanted to like give a little bit more of a twist um I do uh, quite a lot of these kind of styles I never like sort of limit myself in the amount of layers that I might use um so in today's video we're gonna make it so that we can create something exactly like this by only designing eight layers so it not, might not say like eight layers might be a lot to you and whatnot however these eight layers I promise you will take like under 30 seconds um with of course pre-planning but you know you're gonna probably copy mine anyway so you know it'll probably take 30 seconds however um this is just a really cool little concept to kind of spice up the whole simplistic series a little bit um because I don't want to get super stale and also this is not going to be the new formula or anything like that there's going to be of course very very beautifully clean concepts that I know I have in my head but I just can't think of it sometimes so today's video here is going to be just doing this really cool um design in like eight layers so I hope you guys do under, uh, enjoy it and whatnot um the color correction might be a little harsh for some of you guys this is more of like a very laid back this is how it's going to be designed basically and then if this is the actual color correction used um it could be something you guys kind of mess around with however i think it looks really okay like this i don't know if you if the background really it does matter for sure when it comes to having like a very dark you know colored um spacing going on here but you know this looks pretty good i'm gonna just use the same exact background though the black that i used anyway so let's go and get this thing uh, going here today and uh yeah hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like on the video equals a secret down below which wants to be the psd of the video that you guys are seeing right now today so i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing going and uh hope you guys enjoy let's just let's just try to see how not quick and on like we're gonna get some explaining in there but how quick we can actually do this okay so let's do this all right guys so let's go ahead and get this thing going so I'm gonna go ahead and just hide this layer. These two layers here are just like for the uh, PSD when you guys, of course, end up getting it. So just make sure you guys leave a like in the video. Um, so the really quickly, the background that I have set up here, if I unlock this layer for a second, is some very simple brush hits. This is a very simple white brush hit. As you can see, the brush hits are located right here, top left, um, right near the, the my, uh, right middle, and then just a little bit on this top over here. And then this opacity, actually, it was just a very simple gray. It was a very simple gray hit, and uh, just almost like a little bit um, lighter than the actual background color, which is hex code 0F, 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 and the actual brush hit was basically like this, like 151515, and that just gave me just a little bit of a, a gradient, not really much of a gradient, but just kind of like a, an unbalanced, um, just more, you know, aesthetically looking background. So, once we have that going on, you're pretty much good to get this thing going, so... I have this ruler here just to indicate where I'm actually going to be starting off where the pen tool should be and someone got really upset last time that I actually pen tooled my own work just to make sure I get it precise for you guys. Um, I won't do that again, but it, it's not that hard. So he was like, yeah, I don't I bet you can't do it over again. It's like, okay, watch this, bro. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the bottom right here. So the middle would actually be right around here. So you can see it's just a little more to the right of the actual middle. And we're gonna simply once you click once right here, we're just gonna click and drag and give ourselves a nice little curve. This first curve should be somewhere like, oh, I'm going to open it again, but okay, so it should be a little more this way, right? So just a little more this way, and I'm going to do is I'm going to just get, take my little uh, extended anchor point here, just make sure I just drag that towards the middle, and then just basically move my mouse to the right to give myself like a really nice curve, something like this, right? So once you have this curve here, what you're going to end up doing now is just going to go around the actual banner design, just like so, and we're on the new layer, so this is layer number one. On this new layer, we're going to right click, fill this path in. We're going to use the colors. We're going to select the color we have as our background, firstly. And then we're going to go ahead and just select this little circle here. And then just move it one tick down, just like so. Press OK. And press OK again. And then you get one little simple shade darker than the actual background color, which is exactly what we want. Okay? So, if you the curve can always be adjusted. It can be, of course, straight. You can be, do something like this. Um, it's really... The eight layers can all be changed differently. Excuse me. Can all be changed evenly. And they will all have some really cool aspect to it. So, the second layer here, we're going to go ahead and just do the same exact thing, basically. But we're just going to kind of give ourselves an off angle of this one. So, we're just going to click around here again. Right? We're going to give ourselves an angle that looks more or less not the same as this. So, I'm going to give myself a little more space, possibly. Maybe, uh... Give it, like, right around there. So, you see how I'm not trying to make it so that's exactly, um... Let's just say, like, even like this, right? This is how it'd be basically even to this. I don't want it to be even. I want it to be a little bit offset. That way you kind of get this little uh, look to it where it just looks a little bit more better. Like so. Make sure we drag this. And let's give it right around the middle here. So we have something like that. That will give us this little thing right here basically. So we have 
You see how this one's very like nice and sharp, or excuse me, nice and sort of like almost up straight more, and this is just kind of lean back a little more. These are just two actual different kind of starting endpoints. So that's what I mean. We're, we're creating this little inner shape right here. So once you see that, you kind of have that kind of shape in there. If you need to move this to the right more, if you need to move this to the left more, excuse me, that to the left more, this to the right more, you'll get something around that line. And then we'll just say, that's it. We're going to go ahead and just go around the layer again. And you saw what I did there. I, right there. I just pressed alt and actually clicked on here. So I don't actually have to like have a, a random, um, like little loop going. I just clicked alt and just went around again. So on this one, we're just going to really simply go to fill path, drop down, use color. We're going to use the same exact color as before, right? What we're going to actually be doing is just pressing control U on our keyboard, right? Well, this brings up the hue and saturation table on this layer here. You're going to take the lightness and just drop this down by maybe like let's say negative 25 okay just to make it nice and even for you guys um so right there one negative 25 so you have one layer being this little back layer here to kind of have a like a lighter feel to it and then the second layer is just basically a nice little darker layer to kind of give ourselves like a really cool like almost like a three gradient sort of like wing if you want to say you know what i mean so third layer is the actual um layer that we're going to be using to actually fill the inside here so before we actually do that before we do the official third layer i'm going to quickly control click on these two layers here that way when i control j to make a duplicate of it and then control e to merge them together we have one layer where it's the same exact thing as this but what i want to do really quickly is say uh press w my keyboard right so you're gonna have the magic wand tool selected you're gonna have your tolerance at one that way it has no trouble whatsoever selecting one color only we're gonna go ahead click right here it should definitely most definitely excuse me i have something in my eye um it should most definitely have like a separate color be, be, uh, be able to be selected because you have two of course separate uh shades right so once you have done that you can make your official third layer and fill that in with any color right so i'm gonna just fill it in with the background color okay Control D to deselect, and we're gonna go ahead and put a three in there. So now that that is three, we're just gonna double click on this, and I'm gonna give you guys this layer style. So if you wanna check in the description down below to actually get this layer style, so you don't have to wait, you don't have to do it yourself. Um, but I'm just gonna go a quick, quick little rundown. So this layer style right here is a very simple be uh, bezel limbo. So if you like how this little uh, shine kind of is, and how this stroke here might be a little more kind of thinner, excuse me, thicker than this right hand stroke, that's kind of what's doing right here. And it looks really, really good. I kind of like that little shine it kind of gives. Um, the, of course, the inner shadows to give ourselves a little bit of depth, right? You can see a little bit of depth happening right there. Um, the inner glow is actually what's giving us some color, right? That's that orange. It should be at a one or a oh, size seven stroke one and a very simple, you know, color. If you wanted to change your color, this is what you would probably change it at right here. Um, just, uh, as in the actual overall color scheme, because right now mine is black and orange, basically. Um, satin just a little bit more of a, a darker color on the inside, so it's not just super boring. Um, gradient overlay is just the same exact thing. You guys can see what that kind of does. It doesn't do quite much because I have it on only 11 opacity, but it definitely does something to kind of give it that really uh, prestigious and, and, and quality look. And last but not least is a very, very simple, you probably can't notice it, but if you look right here, right, you can see that little bit of an outer glow that's on overlay. That way it kind of gives the actual shape a standstill and it kind of gives it its own place. So that is the layer style right there. That's kind of like the whole entire real, real thing about it, right? It's going to give us the color and it's going to give us all of our different lines. So for our official fourth layer, we're going to go ahead and drop this pen tool again. So I'm going to follow this angle here, right? And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to make sure it's somewhat corresponding to this actual shape. So I'm going to pencil this over again, not because I can't do it, because uh, I want to make sure I have it like that. So once I have this, I'm going to just simply, right, I'm going to move this over a little bit. So I'm going to move the pen tool over to about here, right, just a little bit over. So I'm going to say like an inch or whatever over from this actual shape. We're going to right click, make a selection, and press OK, right? We're going to have ourselves a nice cool selection that we can only paint in with, uh, let's just use a white. You can only paint in if you're actually selected inside. That's, excuse me, you can only paint in this selected uh, layer. So on number four here, we're gonna take this little uh, angle right here, right? We're gonna take our brush, our nice white brush, and just kind of give ourselves a very simple, lighthearted, very simple, small brush kind of look just like so. You see, it was methodical. It wasn't like just plastering it. So just be sure you kind of do somewhat of like that. And we're gonna do is we're gonna simply just take our eraser here and just, just erase the top just a little bit just for now, okay? Because that's gonna give us just a, it's gonna be a little bit different in a quick second. So we're gonna go ahead and make our official fifth layer. And realistically, I probably could have kept that shape, which I'm gonna actually quickly go back. So I'm gonna say keep this shape here. So the way I'm gonna actually keep this shape right here is I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this in with a random color. This is just gonna be called nothing. And this is the actual fourth layer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly, um, let's just make the official fourth layer again. 
just like so. So nothing's confusing at all. Basically, that shade that you made for that actual little white glow is you just want to remake that and just kind of save a save it, right? Because that's the same exact angle we're using over and over and over again um, for at least the next two seconds. Um, so I'm gonna quickly hide this on this fourth layer. Take our brush. So again, very methodical. Just kind of highlight it just a little bit. Don't go too close like this. This is not what you want. You want to kind of have the fadings of the soft brush that you're using. The size that I have is 223 and zero hardness. So I did that once again, just like that. And now with this little shape that I have here, I don't have to actually pen to it over again. Um, right? So once I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go ahead and make our official fifth layer, like I said. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and just kind of take this shape. So I'm gonna control click on this thumbnail that'll give me the actual shape, right? So on this fifth layer right here, we're gonna go ahead, I believe it's the fifth layer, right? Yep, fifth layer. We're gonna go ahead and just simply Take a black here. I'm gonna just select a black right here for now. And we're gonna take this and we're just gonna drag this over, just over the white again. You can't entirely see what I'm doing just yet, so I'm just gonna show you guys really quick in a second. It's kinda of hard to see right now with this um, this marching ants thing in my way, but you can see how that looks right there. So what I'm gonna do is I just selected whatever color because it doesn't really matter whatsoever right now because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Control U on my keyboard once again to activate the hue and saturation table. Take my lightness and just drop this all the way down to 100, okay? So 100 that is, and I'm gonna put this uh, this little light back on again. And I'm gonna take my light now so that I can see that I can see the light now. I'm gonna go ahead, I can see the light now. I'm gonna go ahead and erase a little bit. That way I can kind of show off this little, this little darkened spot right here, right? So. I'm gonna do that on the bottom a little bit, All right? Just a little bit, show it off just a bit, and there we go, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this second layer right here, excuse me, fifth layer right here, and just duplicate it over just like so, All right? Now this is actually our official sixth layer. I believe it should be, or is it nine layers? Uh-oh, uh, anyway, right? So this official sixth layer for now, <laughs> it might change, who knows? Um, This official sixth layer, we're gonna just take the eraser, once again, and kind of just erase down here to give ourselves a little bit of a, a cooler look to it. I'm gonna do as well as I'm gonna take this the darker spots here, right? I'm just gonna move this over from the white with my arrow keys to my left, just a little bit to kind of give the white its own little kind of almost like a, a steel kind of look to it. Also, it kind of holds that shade that you had previously, right? So it looks really, really good, honestly. So I, what I just literally did was I took the darker ones, the darker shades, took my uh, arrow keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just say ten over, right? I'm gonna move the sixth one. One, two, three, four, five over just a little bit more, just like so, right? So now this is our official sixth layer. So no, right now is gonna be the actual uh, seventh layer here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pencil this side right here because this is gonna house one dark layer, and then the last layer is gonna just be one orange layer. <laughs> so I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go around now because I just want this angle right here So it doesn't really matter whatsoever, right? So I'm gonna do this put a seven in there and make a selection And we're gonna go ahead and do a nice black once again on this side Just like this take control U all the way down and we're gonna put this about you know uh, Probably the same exact from distance from this one right here take your eraser again And then just erase pretty much all the way down like so and I would say erase more like in a, a diagonal So that way you don't have like a really awkward like flat line and also erase it with a soft brush Um, there we go, right? So lastly should be the eighth layer and I think I, I did I think I did I think it was nine So hopefully I made the title right <laughs> um anyway, let's go ahead and and I could have copied that layer again, but I'm just gonna quickly do the same exact thing again is get this actual angle, right? Go around, <clears throat> new layer, uh, make a selection, and we're gonna do this nice little thing again. We're just gonna mark, you can't really see it because I'm using a very similar color to this background here, but if I just make it black for a second, you'll see that it is actually there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use color overlay because I could have used the color originally, but I'm just gonna use color overlay, it's fine. I'm just gonna select the orange that I kind of want, maybe around here should be pretty good. Press okay, press okay again. Take my eraser, I'm just gonna erase just like so. And let's just say this is the eighth layer. Let's We're literally just gonna use the same exact eighth layer, okay? We're gonna duplicate it once more, just basically in the middle of the darker one and the orange one. Take your eraser again and make it just as small as the black, but just a little bit smaller, just like so. So, I mean, there's like, we'll call it eight and a half layers. So that way I don't, I don't have to change anything. Um, There you go, right? So once you're done with this, you're pretty much done with the entire design, I promise, because what you're gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly steal um, 
my logo from here it should be this layer if i'm wrong then i'm a bad designer got it got you see cool um and i'll kind of like sneak what's going on in here really quickly on this um is a very simple texture it's on my it's actually in my texture pack if you guys have the everything pack it's one purchase of 30 dollars quick little simple plug in there you guys get the exclusive texture pack which includes something like this um right here right and i just have this very simple very simple beautifully actually uh grading overlay kind of texture uh excuse me uh, layer style on this so if you guys want this one too i'll give it to you as well um in the secret dial and whatnot but this just has a very simple stroke that has a little bit of a color you can't really see too much but if you wanted to make that color be more uh apparent you would definitely want to change it and inner glow very simple and then the gradient overlay is just basically what's going on here very simple multiply blend mode opacity about 30 percent and angle just kind of making sure i kind of have the entire angle there and if you can't see or grade it make sure you guys do reset alignment that way you can actually see and a very simple scale just very very simple gradient right right that's that right there so anyway i'm going to take these eight layers eight and a half layers group them together and we're just going to call this one don't get confused with this red layer here we're going to make that gray for you this is just my logo okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take this i'm just going to make a duplicate just like so and if you really want to you can go ahead and make a duplicate just with control j and then compress control e to merge it together because realistically you don't have to change much but actually i wouldn't do control e because you see how the inner glow does not I will no longer have an overlay so you're gonna have to just definitely duplicate it and then keep it as just number two right we're gonna move it over just like so we're gonna take it and just put it on a different angle why not right that way it looks something like this we don't really have to we can have it be like straight like that as well that looks very cool and boxy almost we'll just leave it like that why not we're gonna take it group it together again control j or excuse me alt and drag over if you want to as well Contr uh, control t to free transform flip it horizontal i'm gonna use my ruler really quickly to make sure i have it somewhat where it was that is perfect take this that is actually in the middle as well and there we pretty much go there's our cool little design this is a little more boxy see how see a little bit it's just a little bit different see how like a little bit different it is because of uh basically i kind of made this one a little more thicker like it looks just a little more boxy and this is cool you see how i was just going for it and it came out with a really cool design i feel like i can add even more right now i feel like i can just do some really cool texture in the background here but I think this is something that's going to be really cool for you guys and to kind of understand a little bit that it's not always about what you see as a whole sometimes it's very simply breaking down with just very simple eight layers and this is only eight layers right so a really cool quick little trick for you guys is what i would just quickly do is i would control j or excuse me hold alt excuse me i'm tired can you tell so first layer right so the first layer that you have so that whatever's in the layer hold shift click in the last layer control j to then duplicate it control e so that way you have one layer of everything that you just did right that's what you want right now with the background included what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to excuse me right click on this layer convert it to a uh convert it to a smart object we're gonna just call this final right so it's gonna be your nice very simple final image basically in one image and converting it into a smart object allows you to go to filter well you don't have to do so but it allows you to go to filter camera filter raw and then when you're done with this as well you can go back into it if you only have it um as a smart object so that's why i said you do that i'm gonna zoom in really quick click this little y here to see double that way this is the original and see it right here and this is the after i'm gonna just take my vibrance put this up a little bit take my shadows throw this down a little bit take my whites put this up a little bit blacks take this down a little bit and you see how like really nice and smooth that looks um maybe a little bit of clarity that's kind of the sharpness press okay and ta -da, right so i want to keep this under 20 minutes so that way people can stop saying that i can't do quick tutorials um but i hope you guys did enjoy it, it was really really cool um <laughs> i just think it's super cool uh super dope so this is only eight layers i just find that really fascinating just cool kind of like a little clickbait kind of thing but it really is only eight layers and just duplicated and that just, that duplication part doesn't take too long whatsoever so anyway i'm gonna get my ass going because it's I mean, it's pretty late it's 12 o'clock um i saw deadpool 2 today which is really good it was like a solid eight out of ten for me um i'm gonna dip out though guys two likes on the video because see you down below as always do not forget to follow me on twitter at so hq do not forget to check out my self i self i.com slash so hq if any pre and packs is always five dollars and as always guys thank you guys so very much for the support we've been killing it in the numbers everywhere and i just want to say thank you guys so so very much and i hope you guys enjoy your weekend hope you guys and just enjoy everything enjoy life and i'll talk to you guys next week where i should have my hair cut because it's, i had to grow it out to kind of get the style that i wanted um two months later finally i get it on tuesday dude cool so much love to you guys see you guys later so switch you out peace don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later